I am not here to tell you that being a police officer is easy, but if you can't handle the game, step aside for people that can. Finally got a look at the body cam footage from a CCSD police officer back in February 2023. The arrest of teens who were filming a police interaction lawfully from the street and actually from the sidewalk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They weren't they were in, like, in the mix. I, like, I'm, I have it on my computer. Here. Yeah, no, they're right just now. filming. Mm -hmm. The department was compelled by a judge to release the footage after the ACLU sued for access to it. They sued back in April. It is January. They had a deadline of yesterday to do it. They released it last night to the last possible second, and it shows exactly what you think it shows. An officer deciding to arrest kids that filmed him, mm -hmm. which is totally and completely not a crime. First Amendment violation, Fourth Amendment, and it's also a violation of Nevada state law. And the ACLU knows this, and they are salivating, and they're going to hold a press conference later this morning to address mm -hmm. the video and probably maybe sue him. Uh, and who's, who's paying for that? Us. Us. Terrible. Like that one, uh, that one person with the um, that suit about the yearbook. Remember the kid that suit oh, about the gosh. yearbook? Oh gosh, yes. Because he had they, a bulge. Yep. And, and that was years. And it was five thousand dollars he was fighting over. Just give it to him. How much did it cost to fight that? Uh huh. Who is? Makes no sense. Come on. Yeah. It's so lame. So, congratulations, to the ACLU. You got you know, we wanted. We all saw it. It's just a, an officer that does not know the Constitution. Uh, which then sets a terrible precedent for all the other officers who then have mm -hmm. to fight against that sort. It's just, there are really good police officers out there, but man, yikes. Yeah. Uh, four of the teens that were charged in the beating death of Rancho High School student Jonathan Lewis were indicted yesterday. The grand jury indicted the teens aged 16 to 18 on charges of second degree murder and conspiracy to commit battery. Prosecutors going to be back in court this morning presenting their indictment. Yes, they can indict too. Mm -hmm. There are five other teens arrested in the case. They're all in juvie. Will they be charged as adults? Stay tuned and find out. The Southern Nevada Water Authority has its plan set for 2024. They're actually upping the ante for people that uh, remove their grass. Uh -huh. So now it's up to five dollars a square foot for the first ten. What was 000. it first? I think I think the they the, paid like a quarter of it or something like that, right? I think I think last year was three dollars a square foot. Okay. So now it's up two dollars more to five dollars a square foot for the first ten thousand square feet. What would you say a square foot of turf is? Well, it's twelve inches by twelve inches. No, no, no. Like how much money? Oh, oh the fake turf. Mm, like if they're still, giving you five bucks, how, how much are you I'm still paying? I don't remember how much I got my backyard done for but it's i mean if you if you hunt mm -hmm. and you find the right one i i can't, I'm, I'm not gonna say the name of the place i want mm -hmm. but it was a pretty good deal yeah um you know seven to ten bucks a square foot not bad that's not bad and uh that's the first ten thousand square feet plus you get the water savings because right. you're using a lot of water right um what well, by the way the per part per person water usage just from 2022 to 2023 dropped 15 gallons per person year to year. So it went down to 89 gallons per person per wow. day, which is unbelievable. And mm -hmm. you look, you compare that to California and Arizona, we are just killing it. We're doing a great job. So there we go. Another reason to uh, get fake grass. Hey, here's some awesome news. MGM Resorts, the ones that brought resort fees to the Valley are making them more expensive. <laughs> There's highs $50 a night at Bellagio and Aria and Vidara and Cosmo. The Luxor and Excalibur even saw theirs increase. How much do you think the resort fees at the Luxor and Excalibur are? Tell me it's $10. 37 bucks. 37 bucks. And then you pay for the parking. You know. You know what's so funny is I think it's 37 at uh we're staying at Aquarius in in uh, Bullhead. Oh yeah, yeah. For a tournament next weekend. And the they resort have a resort fee? <laughs> The golf. Forty dollars. It's worth noting the $40. FTC. The FTC is debating banning these so-called junk fees. Yeah, I am all about it. Yeah. Rather than tell me the tell room me how much it is, is one hundred fifty dollars, but yep. there's a fifty dollars resort fee. Just tell me the room's two hundred bucks because I can't not pay it. Right. Just tell me it's two hundred bucks, and we're and then we're good. Yeah. It's the same thing with uh, they they used to do that with the uh, the flights, and uh -huh. they do they, they and some still do. With, well, with the. But you don't need to pick the seat. But like, what's the cheapest I can get on this for? It used to be it would be this, but then taxes and fees. And they do it with the rental cars too. It's so annoying. Yeah, it is. Uh, if you've driven in the city, you know it's a death sport. LVMPD Sheriff Kevin McMahill told the RJ in an interview he would like to see the Valley implement speed and red light cameras. Just overnight, two pedestrians were struck and killed in separate incidents. So... I have, a, I have an opinion on this at 1027VGS.com where you can click and scroll, but not while you drive. <laughs> um, how about they start with, I don't know, just upholding the tickets they do give. Yeah. Like stop this pink building nonsense and mm -hmm. make it like when you get a ticket, yeah, you're going to get points on your insurance and you're going to feel it. And maybe that 
economic impact will make you slow down. Uh-huh. I'm just saying. That's a good idea. Uh, the picket line's beginning for the Culinary Union. They struck a deal with Trump Hotel yesterday, but 20 properties, including practically all of them downtown, have not signed on the dotted line. The union plans an informational picket. That means no one's walking off the job, but they're certainly walking in front of the entrance in front of the Strat and the Sahara. That's today from 5 to 7. They've set a February 2nd strike deadline. Hey, how about those Golden Knights? <laughs> Beating the Rangers 5-1 at the Fortress last night. Maverick, the dog, the canine that they yep. have added to the uh, the ranks, uh-huh. 1-0. and And don't think oh, I'm going to yeah. take it easy on the dog. If we have a losing record with the dog, the dog's going to go. <laughs> All right, you give the dog to the G League Ignite at He's that point. He's so cute. He's, He's adorable. so cute. Probably sheds a ton, though. <laughs> Yeah, not it's, yet, but he will. Not yet. He's adorable. Uh, next game versus the Penguins on Saturday. Henderson Silver Knights grooming in Tucson for a doubleheader Friday and Saturday. Uh, today and Saturday. Uh, UNLV Runner Rebels in Colorado to face the Colorado State something or others tonight. UNLV Lady Rebels, they play New Mexico at home tomorrow. G League Ignite have a rematch against Mexico City Capitans tonight at the DLC. 13-game losing streak. I might go. <laughs> Honestly, I might go. I might start holding signs. It's been zero. It's been, you know, four, uh, 19 days, days since the last victory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be great. I genuinely, I really, I, I root for them. Uh, and the Oakland A's, they are looking for uh, a, a home because after the 2024 season, they don't have a stadium. Supposedly moving here in 2028. So mm-hmm. what are they going to do? Well, they're looking at Sacramento and Salt Lake City, among others. They may come here. They may go other places too. Who the heck knows? But 25, 26, and 27 will be the something the or nomad. other A's. The, the nomad, nomad A's. A's. Yikes. <laughs> Traffic's becoming a very long segment. Crews are finally going to start dismantling the temporary bridge, bridge at Flamingo and Colval beginning Sunday at 9 p.m. They're going to try to get it done before the Super Bowl mm-hmm. rather than get it done after the Super Bowl. That intersection, Flamingo and Colval, will be closed from Sunday at 9 p.m. until February 1st <laughs> at 9 p.m. <laughs> Access sure, to folks. businesses will remain just like they did with the bridge. Yeah. RIP to those businesses. Uh, so you have been warned. Good luck. Sunday, 8 p.m. till 5 a.m. Expect the on and off ramps to be closed at the 515 in Galleria Drive. Super Bowl is going to Legion Stadium Way and Al Davis Way closed through the end of the Super Bowl. Uh, part of Dewey Drive and Polaris near Allegiant are partially closed through February 9th. Then they'll be fully closed. Mm-hmm. Partial road closure of Dean Martin Drive near Allegiant through February 7th. Then it'll be fully closed. And if you want all the closures, if you drive work anywhere around there, you're probably going to want to know. Get more Super Bowl traffic alerts from the county by texting SBLV239, oh no, 31996. Or don't and uh, just pretend like nothing's happening. Las Vegas weather. Super cloudy all day long. I love it. I live for this. This is how my body feels right now. Cloudy. It's currently 46 degrees, high of 60, and there's going to be rain this weekend. Sixty percent of you will get rain, one hundred percent guaranteed. Hillary Duff, I wish I had her to play right now. That would be amazing. Sixty percent of the time, it works every time. 